It's a little bit leaner than it was a few years ago. There's about 175 staff members here at Ten Mile River, but some of the best camp directors, headquarters staff, support staff, and program staff I've ever seen. And they ask as you tour around and you run into a staff member just to say hello and ask some questions about scouting today and camp today and what they think of their scouting program. Things have changed. It's pretty amazing to hear a 16-year-old talk about his scouting experience today, as many of you have many, many years of scouting background. So I encourage you to do that, and I ask that when you're done, just to say thank you for your service. We don't pay our staff a whole heck of a lot. I hope they walk away with a lot of knowledge and uh, have made a difference in many young people's lives, but really an outstanding group. I'm also very happy to talk about some things we've been able to do over the last couple years in Camp Kiowa, thanks to uh, a very generous donation from Jack Rudin, a million dollar gift uh, over a five year period that's made a substantial change in some of the facilities as you walk around Camp Kiowa today if you're visiting over there. Um, we've been able to change this year, replace the shower facility and do some additional waterfront area uh, changes. If you get a chance to go down and see the amphitheater, it's right on the side of Crystal Lake. It's absolutely gorgeous. You will remember some of your best experiences if you just sit down there for five minutes and watch the natural beauty around you and listen to the kids. It's an absolutely wonderful, wonderful area. Uh, we've been able to make some site improvements. We have many, many more to do, but as time marches on, we're actually installing flush toilets, uh, as opposed to the old privies we remember way back when. So lots and lots of progress, and we're probably 20 years behind in doing that, but it's, we're moving ahead with it, so it's exciting. We have two more, uh, I think, substantial changes that will happen over the next couple of years as the last two payments of the Jack Rudin donation kick in, and we're able to do some significant things in camp. Some general direction of, of camping, um, right now most of our camping is home unit camping, meaning the scoutmaster brings up the scouts from his unit. We're starting also to expand on some of our provisional camping, primarily because of some of the conversations I've had with many of you in listening to your experience when you were here for two, four, six, eight weeks. So I'm happy to say we're expanding on some of the specialty camps and our provisional programming based in Camp Kiowa. Um, I'm also happy. Where's our bugler? I signed up a bugler today. He's coming tomorrow. Where is he? Bonnie, where are you? Where'd he go? Anyway, there's plenty of summer camp positions. If anybody else would like to come back and donate a day, a week, a month, whatever, with your knowledge, come back and join us. Um, I don't want to take a lot of your time as the sky is getting darker. As you wander around camp, feel free to ask questions about what's changed, what's the same. I'll be here directly after this and through lunch if you have any questions. In the back here, you'll see the green staff shirts. There's a wealth of knowledge about where Ten Mile River is today. Please ask lots of questions. And more importantly, while you're here, share your wisdom that you've had from your years' experience. You guys are back here because of the effect Ten Mile River and the staff has had on you. We want to make sure we do that for the next 100 years of scouting. So please share that knowledge with us so we can continue to do that. And I want to thank you again for joining us today. Have a wonderful day. Camp. Yeah, I'd like to call upon another uh, key member of the Great New York Council staff who uh, has only been here for about a year or so. Actually, I met him here last, I think it was Alumni Day last year. We had lunch and had a long conversation. And a gentleman who uh, grew up on the West Coast, did most of the scouting on the West Coast, and now has traveled to the East Coast. And uh, I know he's doing an outstanding job in these trying times to keep this council going. And he's going to talk to us a little bit about the future of TMR, and that's our Director of Development, David Tate. Thank you, Arthur. I can only think of two reasons why they would ask me to come and speak about the future of Ten Mile River. The first, the first reason that I thought of was because I'm younger than Bob Madsen. <laughs> Not by much. Bob, Bob Madsen and I are the yin and the yang of the Greater New York Councils. It's my job to raise the money and it's his job to spend it. And unfortunately, he's a better professional than I am, <clears throat> especially in some of these trying times. But the real reason, of course, you ask the guy that's responsible to fundraise to get up and talk about the future of, of Ten Mile River is not because I have a crystal ball that can tell you what's going to be the newest, latest, greatest thing that scouts are going to do ten years from now at TMR. I don't think any of us know. Uh, I do know that uh, when, you, when you look at the future of our young people and the amount of hours that they spend in front of computer screens and TV screens and, and just the, the, the technology that exists in their lives, Places like TMR are extraordinarily special and, an extra and extraordinarily important to the future of our young kids. 
And there's one consistent thing about Ten Mile River or any Boy Scout camp. Uh, if, if you're not from Ten Mile River, I may be the only person in the room here that was never a camper at Ten Mile River. But whatever, whatever camp that you're associated with, oh, a couple spouses that maybe were never campers too. But uh, uh, if you if you were if you're associated with Ten Mile River, it doesn't matter what decade it was. The constant thing that existed at Ten Mile River is it never had enough money. It will never have enough money. There is no such thing as enough money for a Boy Scout camp because there's always something new that we could build, a new program that we could design, or something that's going to wear out that we didn't expect that's going to need that to happen. And so my message to you today is if, if Ten Mile River is important to you, if it's important that it be here for your kids or for your grandkids or for those kids that you see in your neighborhood back in New York, and you say, you know what, we've got to have a place for them to learn the things, to learn the skills, to learn the values that we learned when we were kids, that our kids learned at, at, at summer camp, then we've got to make an investment in Ten Mile River. Now, all of us are unique in the scouting program in the fact that we're the kind of people that when people say, we need your help, we do it. Because that's the kind of people we are. And so uh, my final message for today is to say that we need your help. Some of you have the ability, perhaps today, to make substantial or future gifts to Ten Mile River. Uh, this is a time of year, and, and, and unfortunately in weird economic times there are all kinds of, of, of things that are going on. There are people that have cash that don't know what to do with it, that could consider charitable lead gifts. We laugh, but there are people. There's people that, that are so tight with a the nickel they won't put it in the stock market, so they just have it sitting in a can someplace. We can talk about charitable lead gifts, we can talk about all kinds of trusts, and we can talk about uh, Rudin and a million dollars over five years, and most of us go, wow, there's nothing I can do like that, and it can't make a difference, and so why is this guy wasting my time and talking to me? Well, there is something that all of us could do, and something that I would encourage each of you to do. It's not easy. It, I'm going to ask you to do something that 75% of the people in this country won't do, but you're the kind of people that will. I hope you're the kind of people that will respond, and that is, I want you to go back, and I want you to put on your weekly to-do list or your monthly task list, the things that I'm going to get done this month, I'm going to put a codicil to my will and I'm going to leave 1% of my estate to the Greater New York Councils, 1% of my estate to Ten Mile River, 1% of my estate to whatever it is that has to do with scouting. It's very simple and easy to do when you do it. The hard part is jumping in and getting it done. If you need any help with that, it's really a simple process. It's a piece of paper, and we've got copies and samples at the office that I'd be happy to sell, uh, share with you. All you need to do is have it signed, you have it notarized, you send it to whatever attorney has your will, and you've put 1% of your estate aside for the Greater New York Councils and for Ten Mile River. If you would do that, if each of us would do that, we could make the million dollar Rudin gift look small by comparison. When you think about the values of our homes, you think about the values of our retirements that we may not be able to use, et cetera, and you add all of that up, and if it's just 1% from each of us, we can make a multi-million dollar difference in the future of Ten Mile River. We'll never see it, but that's okay. We're that kind of people. We know that it'll be here. We know that when we look at that set of green shirts there in the back of the room, that's not the same set of green shirts we saw when we were here 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 40 years ago, whatever it was. But we know 20 years from now, when they're sitting in the crowd, there's going to be another set just like them. And you can help make that happen. So consider a 1% gift from your will or from your estate to scouting. It will make a huge difference over time, and it's one of the things that will help keep all of us around. Now, if you've also got a big wad of cash in your pocket, come see me, and I can take care of that too. But I do want you to make that effort. Most people won't, as I said. 75% of people will never get around to doing that. They'll think about it, they'll think about it, but they'll never get around to it. So be the 25% that does. Make a difference in the lives of our kids. Give one more time, if you will, the ultimate gift and help the scouting program. God bless you all. Thank you for such a tremendous place that some of us get a chance to see and, and get to know. God bless you.